Hi, I'm Deanna, and this is Jackie. Welcome to Glowing Peace. Okay, this video is going to be a quick re-moisturization video. This is important in your maintenance of your natural hair because you have to re-moisturize your hair in your protective style. I have my hair in about medium twist, so this is how your hair doesn't get so dry. Don't wait until your hair gets to the point where it's bone dry to do this. You can, but it's just, it kind of do it while your hair is still a little wet. So I wash my hair on Sunday. I did my wash day. Right now it is Tuesday when I'm filming this. So my hair is still kind of damp. That's why I'm doing this. So I have my hair in about medium twist. And then we're going to go over the steps right now. So the first thing you want to do before we get into the lock method portion of this is super important you want to oil your scalp so i'm going to take my um oil blend this is like a rosemary oil blend and i'm going to take some and i'm just going to show you guys how i put i actually already did a scalp massage because i did a thorough one with the inversion method but um you're going to do a um you're going to do a scalp massage yep you can do the inversion method or you could do just a regular one. So the inversion method is when you're holding your head front all the way like over the edge of your bed or down to promote blood flow. If you have hypertension or are pregnant, please don't do this for health reasons. And always consult your doctor before doing something like that. But yeah, um, you're going to do, main thing is you're going to do a scalp massage. So because I don't want to get oil on my electric one, I'm using a small wooden one I got from Amazon um for like twelve dollars and it's really nice and you're just gonna put the oil i put the oil on my scalp and you want to do this to promote blood flow that is something you should be scalp if your aim is to grow your hair scalp massage daily okay so you're gonna put the oil on your scalp and scalp massage or if you're using your hands you, this this is not i'm not doing it because i don't want to get frizzed this is not scalp massaging this is not scalp massaging you're gonna come here gonna go one two find the crown of your head here and you're going to put your fingers down you see how my fingers are spread and you're going to scalp massage it's like you're trying to massage your brain now this this is a scalp massage and you can go back further to get the nape of the neck as well and it feels really good so if your goal is to get promote hair growth try to use a rosemary true rosemary based scalp oil this may or may not be sold eventually. This may or may not be uh, oil that's being tested through my company to see the effectiveness of it. I didn't say anything. I'm just saying. Like, this may or may not be. So, um, yeah, scalp massage. So, I already did my scalp massage, but for y'all, if you're doing it with the inversion method, I would say do about five minutes because hanging your head down for ten minutes might be a lot. But if you're just scalp massaging your hair, regularly i would in your goal is for a hair growth i recommend scalp massaging your hair two two additional times a day so two times no inversion method once with the inversion method and like i said make sure you're doing it like this to really promote you're not doing this that's just rubbing your head you want to do this okay boom scalp massaging is the first step of the steps now we're going on to the l o l of the lock method which is leave-in or liquid so right now I'm not my hair is pretty moisturized it's still kind of wet so I'm not gonna have water I'm said I'm gonna take some of my Cantu leave-in not a lot not a lot and I'm just gonna put a little bit I, I cut my finger so that's why I'm trying to not get the band-aid crap okay and I'm just just rubbing my hands and you can use I've used water aloe vera juice i've used a lot of things as the l the leave-in conditioner spray i've had when i went to dubai last year i got a um a camel milk and rose water spray so i've used anything for the l it's whatever you have i'm just using this leave-in because i just thought i'm just listening to what my hair needs and this is kind of what my hair needed right now just a little leave-in nothing it's not a curl cream right this is just enough to get the moisture in and i didn't wait till my hair got bone dry before doing this re-moisturization because you're going to need more products and it's you know you don't want to have to add a crap ton of product that's what your wash day is for okay boom so right now my hair is eld leavened 
liquid, whatever, hydrated, even though water is hydration, that's just moisturized, okay? Step two is the O, which is the oil. Today, I am using an avocado and olive oil blend, and I added just, which is just half. Actually, it's like a lot of avocado oil and, and some e extra virgin olive oil with a couple drops of rosemary essential oil. And I'm just going to pump that into my hand. I will show you, but see, boom. And I'm going to do this a couple times because I'm, I'm for hair oiling. If I was doing a deep oiling treatment, um, which I've shown on my channel, I'm going to do another one. And this time I'm going to oil on dry hair. Somebody in the comments was like, you do dry oiling. And I was like, not for my type for hair. But let me tell you something. Dry oiling is only... Oh, it smells good. Dry oiling is only effect okay how do I say this I dry when I did a dry oiling the other day uh, my ends were a hot mess but my strands loved it so what I did was I put the sealant butter on my ends and it just made it a lot better and I did that before my wash day so I'm actually gonna do another deep oiling video to show you how I do it before my wash day like how I prep my hair for my wash day and yeah so we're just gonna take that oil as you can see my hair is loving this this oil this oil combination and I'm thinking I, there was a time guys I used to do this re-moisturization video I mean video re-moisturization step I used to do this every single day um, I kid you not but it was it really helped oh man my bending it really helped to break my hair growth plateau by doing this re-moisturization every single day. I'm trying to keep this video short because you know I'm trying to keep your attention and usually there's some videos I'm like I gotta really explain. This is not one of them. Like just 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 pay attention. You got it. So just gonna put some more oil and I'm pretty liberal with the oil because I'm my hair is pretty moisturized, right? And it's gonna help seal in the moisture, right? And it's prepping for the C. Is this a C? Us the C, you get it? Okay. All right. So yep, hair is nice and oiled. Boom. Getting some oh, length. You see the length? Let's let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. It's off camera. It's it's getting. My goal is tailbone length by the end of this year. I'm gonna make a whole video on how I plan on getting tailbone length by my birthday, and this is included in it what I'm doing now okay now we're gonna move on to the C which is our curl cream now I recommend you use a great curl cream today I'm using the coils curl cream um it's um this is from my company Deanna's Breakthrough Formula I couldn't find a curl cream that was thick enough so I had to make one I mean I was using one before but it was it was not I had to use grease. This is thick enough, so I'm just coating my hands. I love this curl cream so much. And there's a one that's a lighter version of it, still rich. It's called the curl. So I'm using the coils because I have type 4 B-ish hair. So right now, I'm just coating my hair in the curl cream. And this is going to help keep my hair really moisturized. I can't believe I used to do this every single day. I used to re-moisturize my hair like every single day. So today's Tuesday. The next time I'm going to re-moisturize my hair is going to be... Also, it has no label because sometimes when we can't fill up a jar, um, you know, I take the, the three-quarter jar because it's not fair to the customer to give them, like, a three-quarter jar when they want a full jar, right? So, I'm just coating my hair with this, period, period period you want you get it you understand the vibes like this is a very like if you're trying to like aim for length retention don't skip re-moisturization I think we put so much emphasis on the wash day that we don't really talk about how to re-moisturize our hair so this is really don't skip this step please so yep and boom this is how you have moisture retention and it's also promoting length retention as well. Especially the last step of this. 
So boom, okay? And my ends are pretty sealed because on the end of my wash day, I scrunched it with some sealing butter. So that's why my ends are in pretty good like condition, okay? Okay, boom. So we seed and now we're going to S. I don't know how to do a finger with the S. I should learn sign language so I can do an S. But now we're gonna seal our end so again not full jar so i i got it but um this is my sealant butter that i have again through my company deanna's breakthrough formula and it's the first product ever created to actually seal your ends which is you would have thought the multi-billion natural hair industry would have created that but it's okay me and jackie we worked on it so i'm just putting some on my hands on my ends and i'm being very liberal as you can see is given length y'all look at this look at this like if my hair had the rev if i had the rev air blow dryer my hair would be like i'd be more down here you know what i'm saying so right now um i'm just putting the ends as you can see i have a little like my curl pattern loose in between using heat experimenting on my hair i put my hair through a lot but my hair healed once and it will heal again okay so right now i'm just scrunching my ends after I put a healthy glob. Let me show y'all the glob size I use, right? And obviously, like, depending on how much hair you have, do it accordingly. Some people, like, if you have type 3, even type 2 hair, like, you're not going to need that much. Um, You know, even I don't need that much. It's not like a curl cream because it's just your ends. So I'm just going through my ends and I'm scrunching, scrunching 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 and then we're going to look at it end just to show y'all what the sealant butter does and how she seals the end so let's just let me, let me show y'all what why the sealant butter is so important there we go you understand like this is why the sealant butter is important because this is how you have length retention you have length retention through sealing your ends it does not matter how much moisture retention you have as you can see it's a little not as coil because of the my hair is still healing but it's still very much sealed did so something a, a healthier section of hair if you understand like boom 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 bam like you want your ends to be sealed you will not retain any length if um you're, you won't retain any length if your ends aren't sealed. Somebody at once asked me on TikTok, like, what's the alternative to the sealant butter? To which I told them, like, can they ask if it's like shea butter is an alternative? And I said no, because shea butter is doesn't have in a water component. It's just raw shea butter is what it is, shea butter. The sealant butter is unique because it is formulated. It is an emulsion. This is kind of like what it looks like, you know. It's an emulsion combined of both coconut milk, conditioning agents, water ingredients, and oil ingredients, per perfectly nutrient rich, so it's very nutrient dense formulated to seal your ends. This is why the perfect, it's like the perfect product. And a lot, some people on TikTok were like upset that I was telling them that. They were like, I'm tired of being sold to. And it's like, you have people on the internet saying use this hair growth oil and your hair will grow bust down overnight and you believe these these scammer girls when they're like buy my hair oil buy my hair oil and it's like y'all have nothing to say to the scammer girls who are saying buy my hair oil so you can have bust down length overnight knowing that that same clip that they use to show hair length is reused for like every a lot of different companies like it's it might be a stock image but I'm telling y'all, from the depths of my heart, I had to create a product for the ends of your hair so we can all retain, like, me. I could have kept this to myself, but I wanted to share it through my company. And I could have kept that to my, t this to myself. And y'all are like, oh, here we are being sold to. Or maybe, she, like, why? If there was an alternative, I wouldn't have had to make it. You understand? Like, if there was something that could seal my ends. Mine, Deanna Eases. I'm not talking you because if shea butter or oil or grease works for you, great. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Whatever works to seal your ends so you're retaining length, I'm not knocking that. But nothing was working, which is why I had to create this product, and it's worked, and it's working for a lot of people. And I'm very, I'm thrilled to know that this product is helping so many people retain length. So yeah. It's just, it was just sad because I'm like, why did I even, sometimes I'm like, man, why did I even start a company? Because I'm trying to help them. It's like, man, unlike the other girls who are just trying to scam and lie, 
no offense, but you know, a lot of them are just like, buy this hair oil. Like, I, for instance, this hair oil, I'm not saying this is a very nutrient rich hair oil, which I will see significant changes over the course of a short period of time because somebody I know formulated this very well and did a lot of research in creating this. But I am saying what I just said. So we'll, and we'll see. So I know the work that I put into my company, the point of having a natural hair company for me is I didn't want to be like everyone else. I didn't want to just add, a, have an ingredient saying, oh, this is my rosemary oil, scalp oil, but then like it's only two drops of rosemary and the rest are like a bunch of filler oils. If you've tried different things to seal your ends and nothing else has worked, I recommend you um, try the sealant butter from Deanna's Breakthrough Formula on www.deannasbreakthroughformula.com. The link is in my profile and see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, okay, keep hunting for what works for you. But yeah, it's just it was just very disheartening to hear on TikTok. People like, we're just being sold to. I'm like, first of all, it's my business and I have to advertise. And y'all don't say that about the girls who are really telling y'all nothing. Like, they're just saying they drank water and ate healthy. And y'all are agreeing with them. Like, yes, all you have to do is drink water and eat healthy and low-tension hairstyles. And that's how you're re you will retain length. That's not how you retain length. That's just how you have a healthy life and healthy hair. You retain length by sealing your ends. You understand? If your ends are all single-strand not like and fairy not like what length you won't be retaining quickly you're not going to retain any length you're just not you're not going to retain any length if your ends keep breaking off like that's quick muffs like that's if two plus two is what is two plus two mm -hmm. and five plus five yup like you know that's quick muffs like you should understand this but a lot of, and i get it a lot of people don't because they're used to the influencers telling them like just drink water, eat healthy, and put your in a protective style, and they're still wondering why they're not experiencing, you know, length retention. It's like, are your ends sealed? It's like, just use oil. If I put just dry oil on my hair, like regular oil on my hair, dry ends, it's going to leave them worse. You understand? Okay. So yeah, we finished that. We I was just talking. Um, <laughs> I was just talking. Now I'm just banding my hair. If I had my Rev Air, which one day, y'all, Pray for me. I will. Hi, Rev Air. My name is Deanna, and I have. And this is my kangaroo Jackie. If anybody from Rev Air sees this, um, I would love to test a Rev Air, and would love to test it because I know it would eat on my hair. So if you're watching this from Rev Air, hello. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just gonna um stretch my hair um like a fossil the fossil way i guess of doing it no i'm playing but no stretching my hair with bands is amazing um until i get the rev air and then we go i'll still put the hair, hair in bands but it's like it's you you know what i'm trying to say okay so right now i'm just putting my hair in the soft rubber bands if you go on deanna's breakthrough formula and go to revolutionizing hair care the scalp massager that i use the electric one that i use and the in the ties and obviously the products Minus the can to leave in oil, leave in conditioner because we haven't um, produced, we haven't created that yet. Um, formulated, I haven't formulated one yet. Um, but when I do, obviously, y'all will know about it. So, for right now, yeah, if you anything I mentioned, you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out for yourself. So, right now, I'm just putting, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying about sealing your ends. I hope it's making sense because on TikTok. They was acting really hard-headed. Like, I don't understand. I said, seal your ends. And they were like, no. And I was like, they were like, someone straight up told me, don't tell me what to do. I was like, okay, do whatever works for you. LOL. Like, I'm not trying to, like, you have girls. There's a girl on TikTok whose whole, like, shtick is, like, the reason why you're bald-headed. And black women, like, eat that up. And I'm like, that's not really nice because... I think as black women, like, that shouldn't be, us putting each other down isn't, like, really nice. And when other girls have, like, long natural hair, I'm talking, like, tailbone length, hip, thigh length hair, and other girls are like, oh, she's, uh, she's, she's laughing at us in the comments, and the girl, and they make videos, like, laugh, I'm just laughing, like, and it's a joke, but it's, like, it's also not that funny, because a lot of black women, coming from a black woman 
who was struggling to break the hair growth plateau. I listened to every YouTuber, influencer, purchased every hot button ingredient from rice water to this and that and this and that and when coconut oil was popping and I just did everything everyone suggested and nothing helped me. So that's why I had to formulate my own hair care line because I needed products that I knew if were had the advertised ingredient in, in abundance like the mango butter and flaxseed oil collection has a lot of mango butter and flaxseed oil we also have msm formulated in all the products and you know because you know msm as methyl you guys right now my brain hurts but i know what msm stands for give me a second methyl sulfonyl methane thank you thank you lord um it it's it if our hair is comprised our hair is comprised of disulfide bonds so msm helps to strengthen those bonds the strengthening our hair that's helping our hair grow so that's why it's super important and also at the end i'm going to grease my scalp a little with the sealant butter because it's just it's just the finishing touches of it all you feel me so right now i'm just banding my hair um let me see do i have enough bands yep and i'm just banding my hair but yeah, that's why I had to start my own company. If I had, if I had what I, if something existed, why would I go through the trouble of starting my own company if what I wanted was out there? Like, for instance, like, or when I see a lot of hair butters, oops, when I see a lot of hair butters, they don't have a lot of rich ingredients. And again, I don't, I don't, I cannot trust because I don't know that the ingredient advertised is the ingredient in the product. I, I only know what I formulate. And I know that by what the other ingredients are. I look and see how many ingredients are in this product. And then I look and see the type of ingredients in the product. And that tells you like, okay, well, you know, and it takes, and it's only now that I've been formulating a line that I know like, okay, inches, sorry. It's only formulating a line that I'm realizing like, wait a second, this markup mad high because I know what these raw materials cost. So yeah, that's just my thing. And I, I pray if you've ever used any of the products and you like them, leave a comment or don't or review or it's up to you. And this band-aid all messed up. So I'm just taking a glob right now and I'm just going to grease my scalp with it. This feels really good if you have itchy scalp. Um, My scalp's not itchy, but right now I'm just putting some. And I got to remember to do this like at least... When I deep oil my hair, I, I, should I do this? Did I do it in the last video? I forget. But, um, right now, even though I've oiled my scalp, I'm just using it around the nape of my neck. And I'm going to do my edges too. Because it has, it's so nutrient rich. I'm like, why don't I do this? I mean, I don't want to reduce, I don't want to induce frizz, but I am going to tie it down with a scarf. And I am going to do, every time, anytime you do, um, by the way, um fake hair care follow it up with skin care um because you don't want to break out sometimes the oils can come to your forehead oils when you do your wash they come to your your face and you don't want to start breaking out because of the oil so make sure you do a hair mask uh, i mean a, a face mask you know something like that to help um so i'm just gonna put some on the other side if you if you need Listen, if you try to grow your edges, get you some sealant butter and then until the, 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 the scalp oil, the alleged scalp oil that I have I know nothing about comes and use both because I'm using both, okay? We trying to get hair increase, hair density, which is what is the aim. Woo! So y'all see this? Ends is sealed. You see how they sealed? You see, you see how they are sealed? You weren't looking, so I'll show you the other side so you can look properly. This is what is sealed in. Let me see this. Hold on. This could be more sealed. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Because I don't think y'all getting it. And I, and I want y'all to understand. Like, I want the comprehension. By the way, this doesn't prevent. Okay. This significantly reduces fairy knots. It doesn't mean you won't get them. It just means that it's not going to be at the same rate. Because I want to make that very clear. Because I still... I sometimes I get the little knots but the sealant butter helps with all of that and I don't get them at the same rate as if I didn't have them so I'm just gonna add some more really clump them together cuz I'm listen you gotta be generous these are your ends alright 
Take care of the ends of your hair. If you notice, do I need to trim this? Next time. Boom. So this is a more sealed approach, right? Let's go to this side. This is more sealed. This is, these are, the ends are sealed. And I'm just going to scrunch and they're going to dry. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. I said quick and I don't know how long I've been talking, but I felt like I needed to say this. And then we're going to put the scarf on. Oh, there it is. Usually my videos can be like an hour and an hour and a half, so this is kind of quick for me. So yeah, and I was mainly talking, <laughs> so, but the steps itself are pretty clear. So let's, to review, step one, scalp massage with the inversion method for either five minutes without the inversion method for 10 minutes with your favorite rosemary infused scalp oil and um, a scalp massager or your hands like demonstrated. If you're using rosemary essential oil, make sure, please dilute it like y'all. Put a couple drops, shake it up. Don't put that rosemary essential oil on your scalp. Just don't do it, don't do it, okay? Step two, which is lock or L of the lock method liquid. So leave in water, Rose water, lavender water, refrigerated rosemary tea, and, you know, something like that, okay? Those are the options. If I would have said something else, I would have said it, okay? Aloe vera juice, those are the options. Even some toners that have, like, aloe vera juice, those are the options, all right? Oil, use your favorite hair oil. I use the blend of avocado and olive oil. And for cream, I use my coils curl cream. I um, use a very good... You want to use a very good moisturizing curl cream, so that's why I use my coils curl cream from the company from DBF, and then S I use the sealing butter, which is a very important step. Like honestly, Ruta Tuta, you have to take care of your hair from the Ruta to the Tuta. Scalp massaging to the ends. This is probably the, like it out of all the steps. In this is how you promote growth. Okay. This is how you um, retain the moisture, and, and, and this is your length, okay, through the oil and the cream, but this is how you seal your ends, through a sealant butter, or whatever works for you to seal your ends, okay? I hope that made sense. <laughs> I hope y'all got it. I hope it made sense. I hope it made some semblance of sense, all right? So, and we both love you, and we'll see you in the next video.